amazing weather. It is time to get busy. Time to attack the rust, get that treated so we can get that bed out of the garage and back on the frame. I'm going to be using a uh, just an angle grinder with a four inch wire brush on it. I'm just going to start on this outside edge right here and just kind of see how well that brush holds up against it. But Safety first. Always wear your eye protection. Gotta go find me some gloves. And then we'll get this party started. frame off restoration even though I mean, I'd like to do it right and just take everything off sandblast the whole thing and treat it right but I just don't have that kind of money to put into this so we're just trying to extend the life of this truck and uh, make it last for one more generation let's get back to it need at least three more of those so headed off to Harbor Freight that lasted pretty good though I don't know maybe a third of the truck done but let's go pick up some more wire wheels I got done so that I can treat this for the rest. paint it and get that bed mounted as quickly as possible It's not perfect by any means, but I think it's good now. It's going it's to last a lot longer like, because we did this, but that's why we're going to treat the metal as well, treat the rust, actually convert it back to metal. We'll uh, put some good paint on it. It's starting to take shape. I can't wait to get that bed now, though. It's going to be awesome. Well, I didn't get any videoing done. The wind was blowing like crazy and I was trying to get this done before before I ran out of daylight and out of time. But I got rust converter on everything, except for the axle. Still gotta do the axle, but I'm gonna have to do other things to the axle. Remember that seal leaks, I need to change the fluid in it. There's lots of things I need to do to that stuff. But, rust converter on the whole thing. I need to still get some primer on it and then I need to paint it and I'm out of time. Well this is taking forever. Pesky um, day jobs getting in the way. Every night when I finish working on this I have to wrap it up in a tarp and it's a good thing that I do because it's raining. Well it's rainy season I should say. But I'm ready to start priming on this. I've got a couple hours tonight to work on it, so I'm gonna get started on it and then wrap it back up again. Eventually we'll get paint on it. Get that bed out of the garage and back in here. Let's get on it. Let's do it. Using Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. Uh, use on heavy rusted metal. Good reviews on this stuff available on Amazon. I'll put links down below, as always, to all the stuff that I'm using on this. And let's get this done. Sick of waiting.
actually kind of like that. It's looking really good. It's not the color that it's going to be. Ultimately, we're going to go with the uh, semi-gloss or even the gloss black. But, and the reason that I went with the rusty metal primer is just in case we missed something in the uh, treating portion. I wanted to give it every possible chance of getting caught with the, the rusty metal primer. So just kind of doing everything I possibly can to try to avoid rust in the future. And I know, I know, I know, you can comment down below, but I already know that rust is going to come back. It's just a matter of time because we're not doing this 100% correct. But we're buying as much time as we possibly can with it. Um, I'm getting a couple runs here and there um, because I'm laying it down fast and probably thicker than I probably should but again this is underneath the bed nobody's gonna see it but me nobody will ever notice I'm not entering this thing in any truck shows or anything like that although I do hope that it turns out really awesome when it's all done anyway get back to it get this thing all primered tonight and maybe a coat of paint on it we'll see depends on if that storm stays far enough away we're not back to it finished just in time. It's starting to rain. Got to get the tarp back over it again. Protect it. Got to do that real quick. Dang it. Of course it's going to rain. Uh, just in time. Just in time. Stupid weather. So mad. Just go away. So looking forward to spring and summer. Although this, I guess, technically is spring. I guess I'm looking forward to summer. We had some pretty major thunderstorms yesterday. The tarp stayed in place. Protected the whole thing. It is time to get some paint on there. We're going with a black enamel, just like we did on the underside of the bed. Again, it's not absolutely ideal or perfect by any means, but it's what we can afford to do at this stage. So that's what we're doing. Let's do it. Gloss black. First can gone. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me right now? Yeah, so I just gave you the whole lowdown and was not recording. 
Anyway, a single can cut all the way around the outer edge, inside and out where the back gas tank goes. So I'll have to paint the straps. Um, have to get down on the inside of the rails. And I'm not being careful at all when I put this paint on. Um, I'm spraying it thick. Just making sure that everything's covered. I'm gonna do at least two, maybe even three coats. I'm basically gonna use four full cans of this uh, Pro Enamel Gloss Black. Let's just get after it. That's the plan. Let's just make it happen. Time lapse time. Let's do it. Alright, so three coats of paint later, of enamel later, the frame itself is now done. Uh, I've still got to treat the back tank that's sitting right over there. I've got to get that thing all spray painted and everything mounted back in. We're going to replace all of the rubber hoses because they're cracking. That might be why the fuel pump is not pulling, it's trying to pull fuel but it's sucking air instead so I've got to fix that all right so now that we've done well we've done several things remember our gift for our truck well let's mark off the things we've done we've removed the gas tanks that's done we've pressure washed the frame that's done uh, we removed rust from the frame that's done we painted the frame that's done so left still to do, we need to install the gas tanks, set the bed, and bolt it on. But this completes this video. The frame is now treated and um, used a rusty metal primer just in case we missed any spots. And then a black high gloss enamel and did at least three coats. There's places on here that'll have even more than that. All of the top sides where I'm never going to get to again without taking the bed off, those have I don't know, four or five coats, just so that it's just tons, right? Don't want to have a problem. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks, guys. Click like, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel like I earned it. And uh, in the next video, we're going to work on the steering column and the rear differential. Remember that nasty leak that I had at the front seal? Got to get that thing, got to get that all apart and get that seal replaced. And then we'll take care of all of the rust and everything on the rear axle. We'll do some brakes. Tons of things to do on this truck still. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future stuff. I appreciate it. And we'll check you guys next time. Thanks.